what region to choose for vacations, and where to invest wisely. Where would you like to live comfortably? Hello everyone, this is Cyprus with Olga Mirosh and today we will take apart Northern Cyprus into pieces and see what areas it consists of. Before I start, I would like to say that this is my personal opinion, but it is of course confirmed by a huge amount of my real Cypriots who have moved here a long time ago. But there are people who live in areas that in my opinion are generally unsuitable for life and still they feel great. We are all different. Let's start! Let's start with the unique city Nicosia. This is the only capital of two states at once, simultaneously. Nicosia or Lefkosia. Here the cities have two names, Turkish and Greek. Well, in Lefkosia you can walk back and forth between states. Recently, by the way, I released a video where I dispelled a bunch of myths. Have a look! The unique Nicosia ended up in two capitals. A particularly unremarkable town, you can walk around all streets and that's it. Cypriot and Turks live here. In addition, there are universities. By the way, do you need a video about universities? Please write in the comments all your questions about education, so I will understand that you really need and are interested in this topic and will do it for you. So here are the Turkish and Cypriots. What's more, there are the head offices of banks in Nicosia and everything related to this area of management. In a nutshell, Nicosia is not so pretty, it has got scorching climate and there is no sea. That is why Nicosia is not suitable for either investment or permanent residence. And that is the reason why real estate prices in Nicosia are the cheapest on the island. All I need is va 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 vacation. Why vacation? It seems that I need a vacation. It can be an hour sitting at home in a big city, you think. How come it's an hour to get to the sea? Nonsense! But you become a separate very quickly. As soon as we've moved here to the island, we bought a cottage very soon, which is only 45 minutes away. For a big city, it's actually not a distance. Do you know how long we were at that place last year? How many times? Three. Because it's very far away. So where is it good to live then? My dear future Cypriots, this is Kirenia in Turkish it's Girne. I personally live here. Almost all my Cypriots live here. And you will most likely live here too. If you want lush greenery, beauty and English private schools. <laughs> Let's put everything in order right now. I need to remember the text. <laughs> well, let's go in order. All this happened owing to the beautiful mountain range called Beşparmak. It stops all sea humidity and you see all this greenery. And just the mountains nearby it's an incredible thrill, because most of us dream of living by the sea, but it turns out that the mountains are also incredibly cool. And the opportunity to have both is generally great. In fact, the majority of those who live on the island think so, so the majority lives in Kyrenia. These are the British, Scandinavians and Slavs. When I say Slavs for them, we are all foreigners. Lithuania, Latvia, Moldova, Ukraine, Belarus, Russia, Kazakhstan, all these people live here permanently. Only here in Kyrenia there are three private English schools where the teachers are native speakers, but in other cities there are Turkish English schools, they are in both Turkish and English, but if English with all these rules and stuff, then it's only here in Kyrenia. In addition, people live here, well, with such a higher income, who are not very interested in installments, but for example, there are a lot of them in Iskele. And so we moved on to our resort region of Iskele. That area that forms in 2021, called the best place to invest in the whole world. Here there are the longest sandy beaches, tourists come here, investors have been buying real estate for a very long time and therefore developers know how to work with them and compete with each other, given the longest installments come up with all sorts of gifts and different things for the complex, all the action for investors takes place here. I will definitely make a video for you about how to choose a complex for income, how to ignore various lures and buy something that will really work. By the time I shoot this video, time will have passed.
And our prices have started to rise strongly. To whom it is relevant, you can text me on WhatsApp or Telegram. And I will send you detailed information with layouts, prices, videos, profitability tables. So just do it. In Eskile, there is actually a huge number of tourists and awesome beaches. While in Kyrenia, by the way, there are small bays. Here they are long. Do they live here permanently? Of course they do. Mostly those whose income is associated with tourists and realtors. Even though I sell quite a lot here, I'm ready to drive back and forth for an hour and a half one way but return home to Kyrenia because it's beautiful there. And here, beautiful beaches, which by the way stretch all the way to the Carpas. This is our next region. Someday I will definitely make a separate release about Carpas, as it's our natural reserve. There are generally long drop dead beaches, there is the most beautiful nature. There is the most extreme point of Cyprus, where the monastery of St. Andrew the I called is located. It's cool to go there and for Christians it's such an important place. We will definitely go there and I will show you everything. There, by the way, green large turtles come there to breed. This is probably one of the most powerful impressions in my life when you swim with such a 200 kilogram thing and it's just poo there. That is great. Here they also begin to sell and build house and who will need it? Hermits. At the moment, in my opinion, it's absolutely unsuitable either for rent or for your own residence if you need infrastructure nearby. And let's move on to the next illiquid asset. This is our next region, Gezivarin or Gezilyurt. This is our greenest region. There are forests, the Trotus Mountains are nearby. One of the entertainments is a trip to the farm to pick strawberries. The road goes through picturesque places. We came here in April 2022. A kilogram packet costs 60 lire. Collect and eat as much as you want. It's great. And here, the raw huge orange plantations and this is an incredible thrill when you have fruits hanging on trees and flowers are still blooming and they smell something like jasmine in short you already got it that i love my island i love cyprus i consider this place as my real home i need to stop singing dithyrams well 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 what else is interesting in Giselyurt? You can go there once, see the Church of St. Mamas. The university here is also very good. Oh well, I guess it's time to shoot a video about universities. In general, all sorts of archaeological things archaeological <laughs> are interesting here. But what is not interesting here? Real estate. It's God knows where, there is no special infrastructure here and tourists don't come here. Mostly English and Slavs live here who bowed into cheapness and now they don't know how to get rid of this happiness. Altogether, all we get interesting here are strawberries, mm, oranges, the church of St. Mamas, and that's it. And we move on to the most controversial region, it is called a Centipa. I have some associations with France, by the way, we are here right now. There is also a very large flora lake in Kyrenia. The mountains are close, a lot of greenery, beautiful view. Now about the downsides. The beaches here are mostly rocky and there are questions about the infrastructure. Moreover, complexes for Europeans are mainly built here. For them, it is like a secluded summer houses. The tricks are very interesting. Body cleansing programs, an organic garden. Something like that in general. The price tag is decent too. It's not that suitable for income from rent. And it's not suitable at all for permanent residents with children. Because schools, kindergartens, everything is far away. There are no children in the district. And if in the summer something is popping there, then in the winter, three out of 40 houses are lived in. By the way, in this beautiful place, we have bought a summer house. The use of the complex itself is just amazing. But we sold it last month and thanks God! And there is one more region. I was thinking how to tell you about it. But I don't like it at all. I don't understand how and why people live there. But I know many people who like this city very much. So meet Fama Angusta. 
In Famagusta, for instance, there is a cool hospital. By the way, do you need a video about the medicine on the island? I trade this video for your comments. And there are a lot of universities here. There is the largest one in northern Cyprus. There are about 25,000 students studying and it is in the top 5% of the best universities in the world. It is so cool, isn't it? Well, basically, there are a lot of universities here, a lot of students. That's why I don't like Famagusta. There is a student's kickback. It's cool to go there for a walk in Famagusta. There is one of my favorite restaurants in the port. It's ugly, but there is the freshest fish. Take a walk around the fortress, go to the amphitheater, which is in the dead city of Salamis. This is generally one of my three favorite places in Cyprus. Each area has its pros and cons. And each of us has their own. In addition, it is not very beautiful, there are a lot of old buildings, little greenery, a lot of dust, and in general, what is the point of moving from city to city? Here you can't let a child walk alone in some big city. I wouldn't be able to do it in Famagusta either. In Kyrenia, my daughter has been walking alone since she was three. That is why we will look at all the areas together when you come to choose a property. And then your choice will be more conscious. I will draw your attention to some little things that can slip away. And actually, it's fun when you choose, compare and find your own house in Cyprus. I hope you began to understand our areas much better and the video turned out to be useful. Well, next week, let me tell you about universities, how to enter a university here and study for free. Are North and Cyprus diplomas ranked all over the world? Why do they apply for a university here without stress? And what kind of training plan do we have for Yaroslava? This is our daughter. It was Cyprus with Olga Mirish, and now you already know so much that it's time to call you my Cypriots. See you next week, my Cypriots, and don't switch off!